21 tomorrow years of living that is really tight <laughs> Welcome, welcome back, Glam Fam. Thank you for joining me on another day of our 30-day series of lock tips. If you're new here, I'm Glamorous, aka Locked and Vegan. And if you don't know anything about my channel or what I do here, just know I'm all about being locked and vegan. All tips and tricks and hacks from my experience of being locked for three years, going on four. Go ahead and like, share, comment, and subscribe. And turn on those post notifications so that you know exactly when I post my next day of 30 days of log tips. I'm coming to you in my royal crown bonnet because I need to preserve my retwist. I didn't really have to go anywhere today, so I wanted to just preserve as, as much as I can. I love this royal crown bonnet because it's a lock bonnet. It helps my hair to just still be covered and it's like silk inside while it's long instead of like bunching my hair up into like a small bonnet on top of my head, which can kind of like give me a headache or strain my head sometimes, so. I also have purple and red my tip for today has a little bit of something to do with hair wraps so i think it's very fitting let's get into it day four lock tip number four wrap your hair at night in a bonnet in a wrap in both the best way to preserve your hair and keep it from getting super frizzy super fast like especially like right after a retwist or during your retwist it is to wrap your hair at night i would really suggest wrapping your hair whenever you're just kind of sitting around like even if you're not going to bed but you may be laying in your bed or you're just kind of hanging around the house um or maybe you're like hanging outside because sometimes i like to like hang out on the porch outside like i would just suggest putting like just a wrap either over your roots or your bonnet on when you're not really out in public you're gonna maintain your frizz and also you're gonna keep any lint or dirt from getting in your locks which a lot of people don't realize happens as often as it does i didn't even know that like lint or lock dust gets in your hair if you don't wear your bonnet i didn't used to be as strict for myself about wearing bonnets at night like i used to sometimes wear bonnets sometimes wear wraps sometimes i would be okay just put my hair in a bun but then i saw that my hair was getting more frizzy and i also noticed that my lock ends started to get more build up from like just dust bunnies i'm not saying that like you're dirty if you get dust bunnies in your locks you're not dirty if you get dust bunnies in your locks i hope you don't think i'm dirty because i get it does bunnies in my locks <laughs> i mean the sheets on your bed are made of cloths made of material that might come off here and there all of your clothes everything that you wear has a little bit of something that have a chance of getting in your locks so if you don't wear your hair and you're like you know just sleeping around and you're just you know moving your hair around then you're bound to get some something in your locks i'm a crazy sleeper so especially my crazy sleepers i highly recommend you wear your bonnets to sleep or your wraps to sleep it's easier for locks to get built up just because they are matted and they are just used to matting your hair up so if something that feels like hair or is the same texture as your hair gets with what's supposed to be matting up then it's going to kind of stick to it if that makes sense like that friction and the frizz that's locking up is just going to kind of grab anything and everything that is like it your locks are more prone to build up you really have to take care of it and be be mindful of that i really really love this bonnet because as my hair is getting longer like you see it hasn't even filled it out yet so i still have a lot more space and like space in width and space space in length and this is the literal only bonnet that i've ever had in my entire 21 tomorrow years of living that has stayed on my head throughout the night i am a really rough sleeper i twist and turn most of my nights and my bonnets never stay on it was really frustrating actually like i would buy new bonnets every two three months because i would have hopes that the next one would be tighter like i would get those ones that were super tight kind of hurting my head i would try to put a bandana on first and then the bonnet i tried thick cotton bonnet i, I tried the bonnets with the big band on it I feel like I've tried everything. There has not been one bonnet that has stayed on my head throughout the night. Except for this royal crown bonnet, which is why I have three. And I think it has something to do with the fact that it 
extends because maybe I was having too much hair that was kind of like pushing my bonnet off and this just like kind of stays in the bonnet so it's like not really going anywhere and the cool thing about this too this bonnet has a button attached here to lift up the end so I could use this in the shower or if like you know I'm driving and it's like kind of getting in my way and whatever it's just to get the hair off your neck out the way innovative like I can prolong my retwist a pretty long time like two three weeks I think that's pretty long I don't know I don't know if you guys think that's long <laughs> but that's pretty long for me and that is because I wear my bonnet every single night every time that I sit down and rest my head back just save yourself the time and the money and the headache by wrapping your hair at night and let me show you oh it's kind of come off a little bit I'll readjust for you guys here on camera oh I got my retwist two days ago where's the frizz Prize wear but i would suggest wrapping your hair first in a bandana or a scarf and then putting your bonnet on even if your bonnet is silk i mean it's got some space to move around so if you're like moving around then it can kind of maybe uplift some i love my hair right now <laughs> shout out to mimi make sure that's really tight Not too tight to where you're giving yourself a headache, but really secure is the word that I want to use. That is really tight and secure. It's not going anywhere. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> to keep it extra secure. Definitely suggest also getting like a silk bonnet rather than a cotton bonnet because although cotton is really good, I think that silk is better just so we don't get too much of that friction. And my wrap was also pretty thin, so it wasn't like going to absorb the gel and take it out or have too much friction. So also be mindful of that. So I'm using a really thin wrap under my silk bonnet. Lessen and maintain the frizz as I preserve my locks. So that was my quick tip for today, adding a little bit of the style, hairstyle aspect. And I wanted to show off my bonnet. I thought it was pretty fitting. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining. Until next time. So tune in tomorrow for another day of lock tips.